Oh my god, I just fell over. <laughs> We're just arriving at Gatwick Airport to go on our next holiday. I'm so excited. I've got so many bags. I'm stressed, I'm tired, but we're gonna have the best time. So I'm gonna go and find the check-in desk now and yeah, get some food. I need to get some face tan because I forgot it. I forgot so many things. Get on the plane and go to Montenegro. I'm so excited. <laughs> So we've just found a Weatherspoons. Um, it's so expensive. I just paid fifteen pounds fifty for like a breakfast. This is just not the prices I'm used to in spoons. But yeah, just gonna wait here and eat it, and then oh, you go. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll let you know when it comes. I'll do you a little video so you can see what I paid all that money for. Just left my friends for a minute to go and find a boots because I forgot my face tan. Also need to do a little airport outfit of the day video, um, which I love doing, but I always find it so awkward. Like just filming yourself in public is a bit awkward. On our way to find the gate and get on the flight. Turns out I've actually got whiz priority. I don't know. I must have accidentally clicked it, but um, no. I'm just gonna leave all my friends behind and say, you losers. Just got on the plane it's not as bad as you would think for Wizz Air like it's very very budget I think my friends paid 25 pounds each way but because I booked late I paid like 200 and something pounds but yeah it's actually all right so oh. it's a two hour 26 minute flight I think they just said um, but it is a little bit delayed but yeah I can cope with that time I did forget to get flight socks though everyone's gonna be very angry with me just landed in Montenegro it is so Coming here, like when we're coming in, it's all just mountains and lakes. I would have never ever come here, like if my friends weren't going, so I didn't even probably know it existed. So I'm so excited to start our trip. So we've just got our car, and we're just we've just left the airport. It was a bit of time to find a petrol station. It was very confusing, but we got a full tank for 47 euros, which I think is a bargain. Now we're gonna drive to. We're driving to we're driving to Qatar. We're staying, and apparently the scenery is going to get even prettier. So I will make sure to video it for you. But yeah, pray for us. Laura is an experienced driver, um, but she did nearly kill us and golf buggies in Mexico. So I don't know. I, I can't. I can't make up my mind. We've just pulled over uh, because it is so pretty. I'm scared for my life because when I show you these walls, you'll understand what I mean. But the view is the view is stunning. My life does hang in the balance though. So this is, I think this is the Bay of Qatar where we're gonna be staying, but we've gotta go down. But wow, like stunning. Just got to where we're staying in Montenegro. So I'm gonna give you a little tour because it is so nice. And then I will obviously reveal where we're staying once we've left. So we've got a bedroom here and then another bedroom and then bathroom another bathroom which i'm confused about and then this is like the little living area so you've got like a telly and this kitchen area which is like so modern and nice look at this like that is not a picture it's not a postcard it's real how mad is that so yeah this is home for a few days and yeah we need to go find a shop now because we're starving. So we've settled into the room, the incident with uh, Amy's bug spray that leaked onto all of the toiletries, but including my toothbrush. And I've just brushed my teeth, so hopefully <laughs> it doesn't poison me. But other than that, we're all right. Just gonna walk now to the shop and get some water and some snacks and we need cash because if you come into Montenegro, people like cash and we brought like no cash. Show you a bit of the scenery. It is literally, I think it's the most stunning place I've, I've ever visited. I feel like we just went a bit wild in there. There's so many cool snacks. I will show you it shortly. So we've just come to a little um, restaurant next to our apartment. Cat sat on the table, <laughs> sat on the chair opposite <laughs> us. Got my cider and um, yeah, just got ordered some carbonara, so. And um, here is the cat. <laughs> got my carbonara. This is our food. So I've just washed my hair, got my Percy Pig PJs on. Did I tell you I had to buy them at the airport yesterday? But 
well, no, I didn't. I bought them at, sorry, I bought them at St. Pancras yesterday because I forgot my pyjamas. They cost me £15 though, which I think is a bargain because I'll wear these for the rest of my life. We've got a busy day tomorrow, so that's exciting. But I'm so tired. So we're all settled into bed. Um, I've just done something really silly, uh, which I might tell you about. But other than that, uh, I'm going to go to sleep because we're up early in the morning for an exciting day. So I will see you in the morning. It is Sunday. Um, slept through the night, but didn't actually sleep because I was wide awake. Like, I'm so sleep deprived. And I definitely heard like gunshots or something at 1am. And I was really scared and then I heard talking outside and like nobody else woke up but I was awake. But I definitely heard it, like something went on. I don't know what it was, but everything seems fine this morning. So anyway, it's like half eight. We're gonna go and we're going to a cave and then to a zip line that like goes off that cliff, but I am not <laughs> going on that zip line. I did enough zip lines in Mexico, so I'm gonna get some footage of Amy and Laura because I just value my life too much than to go on a 15 euro zip line off a cliff. Oh, I think I just need to have a look at your TikToks, <laughs> comfort yourself. I know. Here we go. So we've just got to where the cave is. This is my view. That was a bit of a scary drive, but <laughs> Amy did really well. <laughs> she did really well. She did. <laughs> gonna go find the cave and I don't know guys like I literally don't know what I'm doing any of the time like Laura just organizes this and I just follow along so we could be anywhere but I think we're at a cave so we're on a little train edge of a cliff <laughs> it's really good So we just did the little um, cave tour and it was really cool, but actually really cold as well. Um, but it was interesting to see. And now we're going to, we're going National to the, the National Park. So let's go. There were some really cute American boys as well. I'm just staring at them as we drive away. It's so sad, but they did have a girl with them. Don't think she was a girlfriend though. I don't know, but I could, I could cry actually. Might shed a tear. Oh, Bye. Uh, radio D plus. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Right. Someone has <laughs> over my house. Look at this view. Yeah, Insane. We just lost Amy's phone for a second, but um, <laughs> we found it down the side of the seat, so panic over. <laughs> the National Park. Um, I hope you can see that because I can't see what you can see. But I will flip it round so you can see the view. But honestly, Montenegro, like I would have never ever come here. But I don't think I even knew the country existed. But it's like just stunning. Like everyone should come here. It's insane. I just climbed about 7,000 steps, do you reckon? And I can't, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I really need to go to the gym. <laughs> Let me show you the view there. Stunning. Let's come to the little restaurant in the National Park. Gonna get a little snack and they've got drinks as well. We've got a mojito for five euros, bargain, and beautiful views. But we are in the shade, because Amy burns. <laughs> got a ham and, well, what is it? Prosciutto and cheese. Prosciutto and cheese sandwich and fresh orange but it's actually a fresh orange like it's been squeezed from an orange it's very it's, it's giving me like a winky eye <laughs> but um it's delicious weirdest thing because it's boiling hot right but look it's actual snow real snow like mind blown so we're at a zip line <laughs> amy is deciding whether she's asking them a million questions she said can one of you please do it for me so i can watch you and then i'll decide <laughs> would you see me on there no. Just stuck in a giant traffic jam. So we just came to the pool. What time is it? It's like 5 p.m. Okay. So the sun's about to go behind the mountain over there. But I just need to show you like the pool and the house because it's giving Mamma Mia vibes. So we've got the little pool here. And then look at the house. It's so Mamma Mia. And then there's a little mountain. The sun's about to go away. 
Guys, how stunning is this dress? I feel like it's a bit much, but just one minute. I just need to have this moment. Okay, come on, Laura. Pick it up. <laughs> I feel like, come on, Mamma Mia. <laughs> it's giving the vibes. Anyway, it's enough of that. <laughs> So we're just walking into the old town. It's nice, it's actually a lot busier than I thought. I didn't know how busy it was going to be. Um, but yeah, we're going to find somewhere nice to eat. And yeah, we're all dressed up and looking fancy. Just got a pizza and some drinks. I've got this drink. What is it called? Oh my arm. A Campari Spritz. Yeah. Not nice. I was going to take another sip then. So I've had to get another cider. So I've had to pay an extra five euros for that extortion. If you were going to Croatia, where would you go? I'd go to Dubrovnik personally. We don't care where you're oh, going, Josh. It's <laughs> an instrument to no. no. Well, that was another successful day. So, just got into bed and then we've got another full day in Montenegro tomorrow. So, that'll be our last day of this vlog. Full three day vlog. I will see you in the morning. Morning, so it's day three and we're just in the car. It's five past ten. I go to Budva, the town of Budva. Is it a town? I hope it's a yeah. town. And I think there's a little beach there and just some cool things. So yeah, let's go see what it's like. So this is our first stop today, just to take a pic of this church. It's, cute. it's a bit wild here though. I think everyone's on like a cruise or something, but lots of buses. We're just driving through Budva and all these people started beeping at us and like flagging us down and we saw our tyre was flat and then we started like smelling burning and hearing all these weird noises so we thought it was on fire so we just had to stop in the middle of the road. I'm like shaking, I'm not even driving, I'm just chilling in the back but um, turns out it was just the number plate was hanging off. So I don't know how we did that but anyway, um, not as bad as we thought. Give me, give me a man after midnight. Got myself a full feast. It smells like pure garlic, so no boyfriend today. <laughs> but there's always tomorrow. <laughs> um, got a little Smirnoff ice, throwing it back. And yeah, it's giving me a dream. I keep saying it, but it's just vibing. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Laura, they think you've just died. It's okay. <laughs> walking back to the car after a long time of sunbathing I did film a little Mamma Mia video in front of all of the people at the beach it was very embarrassing guys there's ants all over the apartment <laughs> all ready and dressed up to go to um, the old town again uh, to get some dinner and I'm hoping I can find somewhere that's got a cheeseburger because I've just been trying to get a cheeseburger my whole life it seems and nowhere has them but um, yeah so we're gonna go by the shop though because I have run out of cash. Cause I've just been spending on food. So let's come to the same place we were last night, but the restaurant next door because it has cheeseburgers and you know I want a cheeseburger. So I'll let you know how it is when it comes. Okay, here is my burger. <laughs> Walking through the streets trying to find a dessert and a hot man. Can't find either at the minute except ice cream. Not sure what creme pita is, but it looks good. Little snack trip. So, just got back, got all ready for bed, and gonna go to sleep. This is the last vlog entry of this vlog because tomorrow we leave Montenegro and we drive to Croatia, so that's gonna be a whole new vlog. And um, we're there for three days, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to go there, but it's been so lovely here. Thank you for watching this video and if you have liked it or enjoyed it, just like, comment, subscribe, just engage in some way so that I know that you're liking these vlogs and I'll keep going. But yeah, I hope you've had fun and I'll see you soon. Okay.